Sometimes I wonder who the fuck I am. That's why I'm in Portugal, man. Right there. Sometimes I wonder who the fuck I am. experience here in Benfica I I don't know I don't ha have a lot of playoff experience in my career so far and so it was kind of a new experience for me and from the jump I could tell that everything was turned up a notch we played harder um, our practices were more focused everybody was more intense everything just seemed to matter more and that's kind of what playoff basketball is. It's the same as the regular season, but just more intense, more physical, more focused because now there's something on the line. You know, all the work that you put in for the whole year comes down to this. So every game has to be your best step forward, has to be your best effort. And we have a very veteran team. And so me being kind of the young guy on the team a little bit, I'm not young, but on this team I'm young. Um, I just try and, you know, follow their lead and learn from them and, and you know, play, play the best I can. Since I've been here, uh, the first thing that was clearly obvious is how invested the Benfica fans are. And the fir my first experience with that was actually at a football game after we won the cup. Um, that was my first time ever being, like, ever going to a European football game. And I've never seen 60,000 fans in one stadium. And I've never seen that much commitment to a club, seeing a grandfather, father, and son all yelling at the referee at the same time. That was a uh, first in my lifetime. And that's when I knew that Benfica is more than a club um, to a lot of people. It's, it's what they grew up on. It's their childhood. It's a lot of different things. So being in my position, playing for a club like this with these incredible fans, I'm just honored and I feel privileged to and uh, every time like I sign an autograph or I, I take a picture, um, I'm gonna, every chance I have, I'm gonna take it because I think those moments where I can give back or show love back to them, um, that's part of my job and that's what makes this worthwhile for me. Um, I'm not in this just to get all this glory for myself, but it's to inspire other people. And um, what, a, what better way than in saying some nice words or taking a picture or giving something to a kid that he's always gonna remember. And so I've just been forever grateful playing for the Benfica fans and uh, hopefully, you know, we can, we can see what we can do. Um, I think it's 
one of the things is I get nervous before most games, but before this Porto, the first game of Porto, I was abnormally nervous, a lot more nervous because this is my first finals experience. And a lot of players will listen to music before games to get in the zone and um, maybe on the bus ride or in the locker room. But for me, I don't listen to any music. Um, I'm just quiet and I let my mind race and I let all my nerves, they just go crazy. Um, but what I'm doing in those moments is I'm acknowledging and noticing those nerves, that nervousness, that fear. And I'm slowly but surely that bus ride to the game, I'm harnessing those thoughts and kind of bringing them to a center. And then usually at the end of the bus ride, I come to some point where I feel ready and capable of, you know, performing. And that's kind of that centeredness feeling. And some things I do is I'll write down a couple notes of the things I'm feeling. I'll take a lot of deep breaths. Uh, I try and just get perspective and try and think of things that I'm grateful for outside of basketball. You know, I have my beautiful wife at home. I got a family that loves me and things like that to kind of take away the pressure of the moment that I'm actually putting on the moment itself. Um, and so then when I walk into an arena with crazy fans, with fans saying who knows what, because honestly, half the time I can't understand them, uh, but it just, it's more of a game. You know, it maybe feels really serious to them and from the outside, it's like, oh, there's so much pressure. But to me, I'm playing a game. It's like I'm back in my childhood with my dad as the coach, just going out and, and just playing basketball and doing what I've, you know, I've done my whole life, what I'm in love with and playing the game I love. So um, the pressure, a lot of it's manufactured. Um, and if you learn to be able to control how you feel those moments, then you're, you're kind of... Um, kind of bulletproof, kind of bulletproof to the, you know, the intensity yep. of those feelings. I'll make for you. With the final tomorrow, uh, there's a lot of emotions going on. Um, I think the most obvious one for me is just this feeling of sort of vindication that every athlete's like striving for. It's that moment when all the work you've put in, you know, the season's been 10 months long of just every single day working hard, whether it be in the weight room, you know, on the court, um, recovery, it's just always, it's just all leading to this moment and that, and you just want this, you want it all to be worth something. And so that's just that, I feel like I'm close. I feel like we're all close, this team's close. And at the front of my mind and you know when we win this I think the first thing I'm going to do first I have to call my wife because she's supported me through this all um, and just you know thank her for everything and just uh, talk to her about it but then after you know celebrate with my teammates um, it's a huge accomplishment this will be my first championship but this will be their third in a row and so I three-peat something that not a lot of people can say they've done and I'll just be proud to be a part of that. And, uh, and even beyond that, my best friend, he's getting married on Wednesday in Italy. So if all goes as planned, we win this game and I hop on a flight to Italy the next day and I get to be a part of my best friend's wedding. And <laughs> kind of like that fairy tale, perfect ending to this season. Done so much in my short lifetime, but I haven't done shit. I done flew around the whole world. First I shook a million hands, then I took a million pictures. But I'm a hostage in my own world. Yeah, my thoughts my own enemy. Got no time for these bitches. I got too much on my damn mind. So if I add some more stress, I just don't see how I'm a cold. I think they underestimate the grind. I do to bring this dough when I'm only 20 years old I wonder why I sent this devil truth Cause it feel incredible Problems I got several Thank God that none of that man it go uh, I've been blessed with 